Hello people and welcome back, it is Psycho, how are you guys doing today? Alright guys, I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on how to level up your vampire really quickly now guys. I'm only going to be talking to you because what I want to do is I'm building up my uh, stuff to uh, just get the quest sorted what I am doing guys. Now obviously I can't go over this freaking thing, my bad, I can't go over it. Guys, what I will be doing is telling you how to level up there. Guys, you will need to do red quests with your mates now obviously... My mate, it says my mate in the corner, TC41N, is online, but he is not, guys. He's on Battlefield 4. Now, guys, obviously, when I mean he's on Battlefield 4, he's had some bad news, guys. So, sorry to Tom, won't be joining us today. But, guys, anyway, what you want to do is you want to do some red quests, guys. Obviously, quest with this character, a Nightblade, so you could sneak through him like that and take the stuff, guys. Say if you're a low level and you've got a vampire, say, level 3 or 4 or 5... I recommend you do this, guys, these quests in the beginning map, guys. Make sure you do all the map, because I've been going around doing every single quest. I made it up here. I'm going to go around here and see if there's any more quests. I want to complete every quest on every island first, guys. So after I've completed every map on there, I should level up to do the red quest, guys, next to me. And obviously, guys, once I've done that, you will level up your vampirism as well and including your vampire so guys you need your vampire at level four and you will level up a lot more quicker guys now obviously by doing that you do the red quest you will take more damage your vampirism is level four guys now obviously it is a bit hard to do because obviously look how what red my eyes are they're a bit peakish today i don't know what uh, vampirism i am on i will quickly double check to check your vampirism guys go to your character and i am at vampirism four so it says in there guys your health regens 40 75% slower, you take 40% more damage, your vampire ability costs 21 less to cast. So pretty much you're saying you're fucked. But anyway, it don't matter about that, guys. If you're doing the red quest to your mates, let them take out the baddies, hand the quest in. That is where your vampirism goes up, guys. People were saying, oh, you have to be in battle. Yeah, drain a couple of people for them, then do it, guys. It doesn't take that much. It's handing in quests that level you up, guys. Ask anyone else. It is quests that you hand in to level up. Shit. So now we just gotta wait for a new batch. So we sit on the chair, guys. So this is the pe this is the point where it happens. Sorry, my cap things up. So guys, there is much more to say. Now what you need to do. Here you go. What are you doing? Okay. Just take that. Alright guys, let me let me uh, just talk what I'm doing. Alright. Um we will give it to this one over here. So anyway, guys, uh, what else is there to, to do? Uh, what you do is you hand in the quest. We'll go to this one up here. You go to the quest, guys, to the red quest in uh, Reaper's March. And uh, I'll show you some more. But Reaper's March is the best one to do. Right, guys, I will show you right now. The best place to do the quests are these three places. This one here. Green Shea. Malabato. And Reaper's March. You can go to there if you want. I do find Grapwood a bit good because of the big tree. We can redo your abilities, guys. I don't really like the quest there, so I like doing it there at these three places just here. And then and then the quest down here in this little one are funny to do as well, guys. They're a little bit uh, things to put into. So what you do is you want to do all the quests. Now, obviously, guys, you see the quest in the right-hand side corner is grey, not even red, yellow, or anything or orange like that, guys. It's because I am level 16. Now, doing high quests, guys, it does help. Literally does help a lot, guys. Now, when I mean it helps a lot, I mean you do them, get them out of the way, you level up quicker. Sometimes you can sneak past the quests, which I do do. So what I do is I go like this, sneak past a lot of people. To keep it going, guys, you just keep spamming whatever button you got it on to keep it going. Obviously, I don't need to, so I'm going to come out of that anyway. I don't need to do it because I'm not really... Really wanted anywhere anyway, so yeah. But um, obviously, if you want any more tips on how to level up your vampire, to level your werewolf, I will do, guys. So, guys, I have got a day left before I can turn someone into a vampire. Um, werewolf, sorry. Look, werewolf. Thank you. Really, I could have just gone to where in the first place, kind the quest in the middle a lot quicker, but it would have uh, been enough for me to talk, guys. So, guys, do remember to make sure you do let me know how the video is if you want to be in a video, and I'll be doing more GTA moments as well guys so now i've completed that quest i'm not going to get a lot of xp but i'll go and check my skill now my vampire my vampire's moved up a tiny bit guys 
it does take time to level up. But then you see this quest here. Go and grab another quest, guys. Just grab quests as much as you can. Red quests do level you up a lot more. But I'm going to do these quests first. Get a bit of coin. Level up a little bit more. And then I am going to go and do some red quests in uh, Mulbatol. Not Reaper's March. Because Reaper's March is a bit more harder. Go for a window. Just collect these books here. Check all this. There we go. So yes guys, so make sure you do pass this video around, pass it around, let everyone know how to level up your vampire really good. I will find some good places guys, there isn't really any good farming places right now to actually level up. The best place to level up guys is get your mates to come along, um, I want to read that, get local discovery done. If you got money guys you just bribe people as well but yeah guys i do recommend you just do the red quest i'm just gonna i've only just done this to sort out my abilities guys because my abilities messed up so i only just done this to do a quick video and to let you guys know now obviously guys uh, we're gonna talk to this this person over here are you crazy it's a damn so guys anyway what you want to do is just go and do the red quest that is a lot to do find a way into the Get out of my way. Just come in here like that. Straight like that, guys. So, guys, I do like Elder Scrolls Online. I will be getting someone to do me a new intro soon and a new background, guys. A new um, YouTube banner. So, if you guys are good at doing YouTube banners, if you do see this, if you do click on it, please let me know. And I will definitely, definitely, definitely need one done, guys. So, obviously, I'm just going to quickly get through this, guys. And... It's fun to just like drain like lower level of low level people because it is fun to do. Leave him. We must find Tenkano. That guy died. Leave him. Oh, let him let him just fight. Tenkano. Well, I could just drain. Look at that. Look, the draining ability is really really good, guys. Now I'm not even gonna lie. I say vampires are good, but werewolves are a little bit better, guys, because of how much damage you take. So if I now jump over here, I'm going to take some damage. And probably falling down here, I'm going to take some damage as well. Really? There you go. That completed that really quickly. So we got past that, guys. I can't drain his ability. Won't let me drain him. Don't hurt him. The new blood smells fresh. Please, So let let me and I'll just kill you easily. Is that it? Really? I'll just drain you and just get like kill you even quicker. Missed. And he's dead. So obviously, guys, I won't take a lot of damage. But when you are going against higher level people, it does seem to kill you a lot quicker, guys. So I would do the quests. Search on all what quests. All the quests you could do to sneak past people, guys. There are a lot of quests you can do to sneak past and to get around quickly. And I mean, that's why I'm level 16, guys. I shouldn't be level 16 at the moment. Because I haven't completed any of the quests on this island. Not all of them. Only some of them. So that's why I'm coming back now. To get some quick coins, and I will be here, uh, you know, doing a little bit more on a higher ranking mission, guys. And I'll be doing let's play as well, guys. So make sure you ch have a look out for the let's play. Uh, if you want, guys, want to be in my group in the guild, like in the group, we are in the guild as well. If you want to be in the guild group or anything, let me know and you can be in it. Um, if you want a werewolf bite, let me know. I'll be doing a, a part three of a werewolf bite tomorrow, which is uh, Tuesday, UK time will be nine o'clock. I'll be uh, doing a video then, 9 o'clock in the morning, and I'll be waiting around till it goes down, guys. So, yes. Uh... That's right. I was never here. So, there we go, guys. We've done that one. Didn't level me up as much, but it leveled up my vampire a tiny bit more. It has moved a tiny bit. I've noticed that. But, guys, I'll be doing a red quest. Again, I will bring you some more. So, guys, make sure you do like and subscribe, and there's a quick tutorial on how to level up your vampire. It was a bit of a talking, so how to level up your vampire, guys. I'm going to take it for you now quick till it gets to 10 minutes. Request, do it with your mates, let them help you out. That is the quick way to do it, guys. Use the vampire abilities to your best abilities you can do. Survive, do high quest, guys.
Do level 30 to 40 quests with your teammates. If they are level 30 to 40, do it with them. Alright guys, so make sure you do smash the like button. And I will see you in the next Elder Scrolls. Stay awesome.